What's up guys? Today we're going to be talking about the five key concepts that you need to know if you're a beginner using HTML code. We will be discussing structure, tags and elements, self-closing tags, attributes, and semantic HTML. Let's jump into the video. Alright, the first thing we're going to be talking about is the structure of HTML. HTML is always going to have a docutype at the top saying that it's an HTML document. And then it's going to have an opening tag, which is right here. It's your HTML. It's also going to have a closing HTML tag. And on all closing tags, it's going to have a forward slash mark. Okay, so after our HTML opening tag, we're going to have a head tag. And this is going to include our section for meta database. And so this thing right here, this meta char set equals UTF-8 is telling your website browser that the document is encoded using meta char set UTF-8. And this is a well-known, widely used encoder. So after that, we have our title, and this is going to go on our head. It's pretty self-explanatory. It's going to have an opening and closing tag. Then we're going to have our closing tag on our head. And then we're going to have our opening body tag. And this is where all of our content goes. This is where what's actually going to show up on the website. That's where all this information is going to go. And after our body, we're going to want to close it again with our closing tag that has the forward slash. And then we're going to want to close our HTML document. And that is the generalized structure of an HTML document. So in an HTML document, tags and elements are used to structure content, to basically say where it's going to go in um, the body. And so simply we can go over here. And so here is our basic structure of an HTML document, right? We have our, we're declaring it that it's an HTML document. We have our opening tag, head, body, closing tag. And so in our body, we're going to want to put h1, which is meaning header one, and it already put a closing tag for us there. So actually we'll do it like this. So in our header tag, let's just put, this is our header. Okay, and then we're done with that header. Then we can put a paragraph, and it already put a closing tag for us again, on this is where our content will go. Okay, so now if we go over here and we preview this, we have our header right here. This is our header. This is where our content will go. Okay, and that's our paragraph. And you can add another paragraph under this if you want. And then you would put a header, say you wanted a second header, and same goes for that, you would just put paragraphs underneath it. Okay, so that's the basic structure of these tags and elements, right? So that's the paragraph tag, and I showed you the header tag also. And then here it talks about this A tag, right? And so the A tag is a anchor tag. 
And right here it says, defines a hyperlink. Okay. So say we're going to want to write an A tag. Then we'd go back to our coder. If I can get to it. Okay. And so say we are in this paragraph, do you know what I mean? We want to make this paragraph word a hyperlink. Well, we're going to do that with a anchor tag. Okay, and so you open it, A. Now, anchor tags, you are obviously referencing something inside that anchor tag. So, we're going to put href equals and let's just come up let's go to my website and come up just we'll just make it my website link okay so now we have our reference link which is going to be the one for my website and you have to put this reference link in double quotes so it adds double quotes there for you then control V to paste your link. Now we need to close that anchor tag and it already put an end anchor tag for us. However, we need to delete this because we want we want our the word paragraph to be what is anchoring. So we're going to put our closing tag slash a. Well it already did it for us. Put it a and then close it. So now the word paragraph is a hyperlink because we use the anchor tag. Okay so self-closing tags there are certain tags like images or input tags that are self-closing tags, which mean you don't need to add a, so a closing tag to the end of it. And this is because you there's really specific things in like an image tag. You're looking for the source, or which is right here, your source, or your alternate. So your alternate is going to show up as say the image didn't load the alternate message would show up an image right instead of the image okay so say i wanted to create an image above my first header then i would create an image tag then you need a source equals and it already gave you the double quotations so my source is a file off of my website. So if we open this up, we obviously see that my picture is way too big. So all we have to do is go to this. Now we're going to type in width equals 100 and tab height equals 100 okay and then we got to close it out remember that's why this is not going below this is because it's not closed okay so that is how we would put an image we have our image source our width and our height, and you can also add an alternate text in here. Okay. So say that picture wouldn't show up, it would show up, it would say MVS Media Solutions logo, um, it's showing up right now. The width and height are each at 100 pixels. So we're good on our images. Okay, so our next thing is attributes. And this is basically what I was just showing you with the image thing, is that this h reference 
and this source are both attributes, okay? So the tag is image, an attribute is the source of the image, which I showed you. And then alt is also another attribute of the image. It's the alternate text if the image does not show. So these are attributes, the href that I've showed you, the source, the alternate, and many others that go along with inside different tags. Okay, so semantic HTML. Semantic HTML gives meaning to the context. Some things right here in this header, or below your header actually, we have this navigation tag. And then we have a UL tag underneath it, also with an LI tag. So the UL stands for unordered list, and the LI stands for list. So say we were trying to create a navigation bar on our website. So say I was trying to write a navigation over here on my website and we would be using semantic HTML to do that. So what we're going to do, we're going to have it under our image and we're going to push we're going to choose navigation and then the ul is unordered list and then the l li is going to be list we're going to make two of them So on this list for navigation, we're going to put a home and about us. And whenever you click on those, we're going to want it to go somewhere. So to do that, we got to reference it using the anchor tag. So we're going to put anchor href equals double quotes. And so we're just going to put the root, which is a forward slash. And all that means, I'll show you where that takes us after this. Okay, this one's the second one, so this one will be the about us. About us. And on this one, we're going to do the exact same thing. So anchor... Okay, so now we have our home and our about us tabs on our navigation bar. So when we click on this, it's taking us to everything that we have over here. And so why it's doing that is because this is our root. This means your root. And so whenever you go back, say you're on the command line and you go back so far, you eventually get to your root and that holds all your files <clears throat> for could potentially be your computer or it could be whatever workspace you're working on. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. If you liked it, I would really appreciate it if you hit that like button and subscribe. We're going to be coming out with more coding videos and HTML, CSS, Java, Python. So subscribe for more. Thank you guys for watching.